the three local banks, DBS, UOB, and OCBC. How are they looking after the sell down we have seen just about three weeks back due to the Omicron variant news? Hey guys, Joey here, top tier my Zero trader in Philip Securities. And in this video, we're looking at the three Singapore local banks, um, DBS, UOB, and OCBC. So, you know, just about three weeks back, we had the news on the Omicron variant, and you know, all the three banks sold off by more than 5 to 8%, all right, before finding like a bottom. So, we've covered it a few times. Uh, clients were alerted whereby some of the good support levels can think about getting in. And we have seen quite a good rebound over the past one to two weeks. And you know, we have kind of like a pro some of those levels whereby some profit taking or some selling can actually come back again right so in this video we look at these three um, Singapore banks what do you want to do with it if you have like kind of caught the bottom or maybe where are some of the levels whereby you can think about getting in again if you do see some weakness coming in where are some levels whereby you can bargain hunt like just what happened just about three weeks back when the Omicron uh, variance news hit right so if you want to know how are these three banks doing what are the levels you can take profit or maybe think about getting in make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because I think you're going to like what I got for you Okay, so the first bank we'll talk about would be this uh, bank called DBS, right? DBS Bank right here trading at about 32 dollars and 43 cents right so you know just about you know a month back we were actually holding quite well above that 3180 to 32 dollars look at this this was like where we were in august we kind of like traded down and eventually somewhere around like november early november we broke um this like 3180 to 32 dollars so that was quite a good consolidation i say about two to three weeks in november but unfortunately all right we had this news that came out on the omicron variant and it was a lot of uncertainty then uh, you know in terms of like the severity of it the transmissibility of it and all that and that's where you know it kind of broke some of those key supports and it sold down by more than five percent right away here you can see it went all went down like from like what 32 all the way to somewhere around like 30 dollars and that's where some bargain hunting came back all right so yeah i mean clients will come like alerted to some of the support levels where you can think about getting in because these were pretty much the longer term uh support levels whereby we have been holding since like you know july uh and in fact uh, since april as well a bit of a longer term support you can see this is where we rebounded from since like april that 29 dollars 29 20 level look at this rebounded 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 and we kind of like expected it maybe hit you around here but not really around here you can see on the omicron variant news we kind of like traded to somewhere around here the 30 dollars 30 dollars a little bit of a psychological level as well and that's where we kind of held above somewhere in october as well and also where the longer term uh, 200 days moving average line is so this is a blue line pointing up you can see come kind of like near the level so $30 is like a psychological level all right and also where the 200 days moving average is and also where we will support it you know just um, somewhere in like um, September October and even in August so there's like three factors pointing to a really really good uh, bargain hunting at this level and that's where we also saw quite a good uh, rebound happening all the way back up to this like 3180 to 32 dollars right so over the past one to two weeks good news right we have come like you know went above this like you know resistance because this is like kind of like the resistance it was support support all right come kind of broke this support and uh now this uh, you know has turned back to become like a support level so let me turn this line to green in color i would say somewhere around at 3180 3170 3180 to around uh, 32 that's where we are seeing some good support happening all the way back up to this level and that's where uh, the resistance is right now somewhere around that 33 dollars to around that um, 3270 right so 3270 to 33 you can see right around here in fact i think today the high is around like um, 3255 right so somewhere around here i think as, as we approach this level right here that is where we can see some profit taking or some selling pressure coming back again just like what we have seen um just last month before the entire omicron um, news came out right so this is dbs so i think if you have caught like the rebound you can also think about like getting out you know around here maybe near 32 70 32 60 uh you know near that 33 hopefully all right and, and then maybe wait for a pullback and then that's where you can think about getting in again especially i mean of course we do see some negative news coming out you know in terms of like the interest rate hike news and all that it might kind of affect the markets and that's where you can see if we pull back to some of those good levels like the 30 to 31 
uh, that's where we could potentially see a good rebound happening again okay guys so let's move on to the second bank and if you like this video so far i would appreciate if you can give me a like or a thumbs up it will definitely help out the channel and the algorithm to reach out to more people and thank you so much for doing this right so let's move on to the second bank which would be uob right? uob today i'm currently trading at about 27 dollars and 12 cents right here quite a good move today i would say let's um dive into it in a bit but let me just give you an overview of what happened to uob right so pretty much i think i mentioned in my previous video for all the singapore banks that we were actually consolidating uh quite well all right since like the beginning of this year in this range which is about that 25 dollars so let me just show you right here 25 dollars to that 27 um, dollars level look, look at this right 25 to 27 in fact this was where we were even before the sell down last year due to the current situation the covid situation that we're in all right we're actually holding quite well from 25 to 27 and of course we broke this 25 dollars and the selling really happened before we found a bit of bottom and then the rebound happened right so this was pretty much where we were in the, the beginning of the year from february all the way until like october November, right? Quite a good uptrend reversal, all right? So let's take a look at where we are. I mean, basically, just last month, right? This last month uh, before the entire Omicron news came out, we were actually holding quite well above that uh, $27 level. Look at this, right? As I say $27 was actually like a resistance level, all right? And we actually kind of broke this resistance level somewhere around early of November, right? Before this whole entire Omicron news came out. So that was actually a good thing, right? That was a good thing because this resistance you can see is like up down up down for you know like about seven to eight months and eventually we broke it so there are some upside targets that were drawn you know actually when we kind of see this move all the way to around that 28 dollars just like a one dollar range maybe if it does break 28 maybe you can push higher to like 29 or 30 but that was pretty much the targets that were drawn so we were actually holding quite well above this uh, 27 which would actually be like a new um, support level so resistance turns support but you know right here you can see that on this day somewhere around that 29 26 of november of course we had the news came out with omicron and we did unfortunately break back below uh, this 27 dollars so yeah that could be the downside you can see all the way you might actually see a bit of downside uh, back here to that 25 to 25.50 why because look at this right this was where we rebounded many times you can see like almost one two we neared it many many times three four five six times uh, over the past like eight months so that's where as it sold off right here i think we have kind of like sent out a note to, to clients as well you know some of those good support levels whereby you can think about like getting in all right and that was pretty much where we did see some good bargain hunting coming back i think somewhere around 25 50 i think yeah i think the low was about 25 50 right here not even 25 right you can see somewhere around 25 25 50 and there's where some good bargain hunting come back and we managed to uh catch quite a good rebound all the way back up to uh this 27 dollars resistance so 27 dollars would be like the kind of like the initial rebound target which is like the support we broke down it became the resistance level right so this is pretty much where we are right so over the past two weeks right we did see it you know a bit of profit taking uh, just about near that $27, which is quite uh, normal because as I say, with support, it turned resistance. So pretty much this is like a red uh, resistance line. Let me just turn it back. And today, right? So today, I think over the past two days, it seems like we are attempting Look at this, right? So I think yesterday on the 16th of um, December, we kind of closed at about 27.03, right? 27.03, uh, 3 cents just above 27. So it's a bit of a sign that we are kind of attempting to break this uh, 27 resistance level. As I say, this level is key. All right, we're pretty much back to this level. We can't break it over the past one week, but yesterday managed to uh, close above 27. That's a good sign. And today we are at like 27.12, right? So today is like the 17th of um, December, right? 17th of December, Friday is coming to the weekend. And we are right here at 27.12, kind of like, you know, still holding uh, above this $27. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign whereby we are kind of like attempting to break above back this $27. So I think, yeah, I mean, it's only like one or two days. So if we can hold above like today or maybe next week, that could be a good indi indication, right? Whereby buyers are starting to, to come back again, all right? To, to kind of like push this, uh, you know, you will be up towards the next resistance level, maybe all the way to $27.50 or to that $28, right? $28 is where we were, all right? Pretty much where some selling happened just before the entire Omicron news came out, as I've mentioned, right? So that could be kind of like the next upside targets, all right? If we can hold above 
that 27 over the next few days. So I think it become like approach that near that 28, uh, you know, above 27.50 and things like that. Same thing, that's where you can think about, you know, kind of like taking some profit as well, locking in some profits or maybe even protect your profits by raising your stop loss upwards, especially if you have caught the, the good rebound. I think that's a good level where I can think about like maybe just getting out, take some money off the table before waiting for a pullback. All right, so this is UOB. I think it looks quite good. The longer term uptrend looks intact. Short term, of course, we saw some selling when we broke 27, but right now it seems like we are starting to see a bit of reversal because we have just broken up above this $27 level. Let's see if this 27 can hold. Okay, so let's take a look at the final bank I would like to share with you, and that would be OCBC, right? So you can see that it looks a little bit different uh, from DBS and UOB, which is quite strong in terms of the uptrend, uh, the longer term uptrend, all right? And uh, for OCBC, you can see that there are some signs of weakness because of the moving averages in the longer term, kind of like turning down, right? Look at this red line, or this red line is what we call the 100 days moving average. And over the past like three weeks to a month, you can see this red line have uh, kind of like crossed below uh, the blue line. So that's not a good thing uh, in terms of the longer term trend potentially turning down. Of course, it's only like one or two weeks, so it still remains to be seen, but there are indeed some signs of the trend turning down, right? You can take a look at like, um, OS, I'm sorry, I mean DBS and UOB in terms of the red and the blue, you can see that all of them are pointing up quite a strong firm uptrend, I would say, but in this case for OCBC, a little bit of weakness, all right? So short term wise, yes, all right, same thing here. We were actually holding uh, you know, just above that uh, 1170, 1180, of course, that was when we had the Omicron news came out, we sold off and we kind of broke this like 1140, right? So 1140, 1150 is a little bit of a support. We kind of broke down, went to $11 psychological level. Let me just go ahead to put this right here. I think about $11 is where we are seeing some good um, psychological support level and we did kind of rebound, all right? But you can see that as we rebounded, all right, it's not like, you know, near that you know, previous high we've seen at $12 or maybe like $13, which is where we were in like April and in August, right? We kind of just rebounded a little bit and that's where some selling actually came back, right? Compared to like um, DBS and UOB, you can see we kind of like rebounded and pretty much heading back uh, to the recent high over the past uh, six months, right? But for OCBC, we just rebounded and now we are still kept below this uh, resistance level. So I would say that right now, uh, resistance level would be around that 1140 or maybe just to give it a bit of leeway, 1140 to 1150 uh, level, 1140 to 1150. I think that is pretty much where we are seeing selling over the past two weeks and also where the 20 days, the short term moving average, the 20 days moving average line is as well. You can see this is where it kind of coincides. I think this is about two weeks back, we touched about 11.49. All right, still kept below 11.50 and sellers came back. That, that's quite a key level, right? 11.50. So I think if you really want to see like a firmer reversal back up, then we definitely need to cross that 11.50. And that is where we could potentially see a trade back up to maybe 11.80 to that 12 dollars level right back to where we were uh, just before the entire omicron um, variant news came out so that could be the upside so just want to watch this level right this 1150 right 1150 level that is the immediate resistance if not we are pretty much back uh, to this lower uh, consolidation phase from 11 to 1150 right it's like a 50 cents range still okay but as I say, there are some signs of the trend turning down. So hopefully we do get back above the 11.50 and that's where we can you know, hopefully see some good uh, upside happening back towards $12. And of course, the moving averages will start to turn up hopefully if that happens as well. Okay, so this is OCBC. Take note of this immediate 11.50 resistance level. That is a cap for now. All right, so there we have it, guys. We have pretty much covered the three Singapore uh, local banks that I get asked uh, quite a lot often. All right, and uh, DBS, UOB and OCBC. So I hope you now have a clearer picture of each of the banks in terms of some of the new uh, support and even resistance level whereby we can potentially see some selling happening again over the past a few weeks. So yeah, make sure you take note of these levels I talk about. It looks a little bit different for each of them. OC OCBC especially a little bit different from like uh, DBS and UOB. All right. So I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, uh, go ahead to give me a thumbs up and a like. It will definitely help out the channel. And of course, smash the subscribe button as well um, if you have not yet done so, so you will not miss out on any videos like this right so let me know in the comments below as well let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts 
on the three Singapore local banks. What are your thoughts on them in terms of like DBS or is it OCBC or UOB? What would be a good buy for now? Let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer each and every comment. Right. So Joey here. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.